Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Airline UK Freakouts on Arthur TV. Coming up today, we've got all the right ingredients for a perfect episode. A posh entitled man, an angry couple and a wholesome return to the series from Saint Leo himself. So put on some comfy clothes, grab your popcorn, smash like and subscribe and enjoy the show. Okay, that flight's actually closed now. Closed? Yeah. Closes 40 minutes before. Well, we've been right, driving around the car park trying to find the space. Yeah, well, Unfortunately, the there's car... nothing I can do about that. Once a fix of being passed, it won't accept you now, I'm afraid. The only thing we'd be able to do is transfer you onto the next flight. And when's the next flight? Um, for Paris. It's going to be quarter to eight tonight. Oh, you're kidding. In Liverpool, EasyJet's new check-in rule means passengers have to arrive 40 minutes before departure, and Rosalind and her husband Paul have been caught out. I've been driving around the car park for 20 minutes and I would appreciate if you could just try. I appreciate that, but I've already asked for you. Mr and Mrs James are meant to be off to France to house hunt for a second home, but they've missed check-in, and a demanding Lorna Harrison gets them onto the flight. Can you, you ask again? Can I ask someone? No, you can't ask. I can ask again oh, for you, but they won't accept you. Well, just explain the situation. Careful. I wouldn't stand here arguing with you if I could get you on that flight. Well, can you just try it? Listen, go till five to two. It's not to me, I can't make the decision. I'm going to Paris on the uh, two o'clock flight. I pre-booked the flight and I pre-booked a car park space. There's absolutely no spaces on the car park. And for the last ten minutes, we've been trying to find a space on the car park. I actually dropped my wife off so she could come and book in. We're five minutes late and they're telling us the desk closed. We went last week. We were here on time, and the flight was delayed for four hours. Two cock-ups, two times. Easy jet. Not so easy jet. Ah, that old chestnut. People make this easy jet not being easy joke all the time and then act as if it was some genius play on words. But honestly, I'm getting sick of it. Even people whose first language isn't even English make this joke. Easy jet. Very easy. But lousy. Sorry? Garbage service. Garbage service? Yeah. It's not garbage service. Garbage. If you say you were here till past six, right yeah. here how can it be garbage time. service? If, There's no announcement here. If the, you're not going to get an announcement. You look at the board and you look to see yeah. where you're going. If you, yeah, going if you don't yeah. see it, that's not my fault. You've missed it now, so you have to go well, on the next one. Your service is garbage. Right, thank you. You're entitled to your opinion, sir. God damn it. Honestly, how do so many people make it all the way into adulthood and still not know how an airport works? Then again, if all these people turned up on time and checked departure screens, there'd be no Airline UK freakouts, so who can complain? This next guy, however, was more than just a little bit late. Over in Belfast, we've got another posh passenger in a spot of bother, and as we all know, for posh entitled people... Missing a flight is just one of the worst things that can ever happen to you. Um... You know, it can be really seriously awful for people. I mean, there are worse things, aren't there? And what about losing all your money? Or shitting yourself in public? Or the tabloid press mistakenly outing you as a pedo? Or Alzheimer's? Or all of those things, plus you're drowning? Good point, well made, Corrigan. So I got somebody else to book it for me, and they always book my regular flight, and they've, they've messed this up. Is, is there anything we can do here? Literally, I fly with you every single week. There must be some sort of... Other than buying new seats, sir, no, I'm afraid not. And how much is a new seat? Well, we'll just price a new seat for you now. Is it one way? Well, well you've, got, 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 you've got, got a big... You've got a tight price. That will, that will not... Um, 127.99. Oh, no. Entrepreneur Rory Dorman turned up too late for his flight, a day too late, and a new ticket isn't going to come cheap. It's unwelcome news for the young businessman. I simply don't have £127.99. Unfortunately, that's the cheapest ticket EasyJet have on that flight at the moment. This is a total nightmare for me. I, 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 because I, can't, I simply can't fly back at that, at that price. I literally fly, you can check the records every single week, day in, day out, I fly. I'm, I must be your most loyal customer on this. Is there no way we can do something? Because, I, I, I mean, this is not the sort of service that I know Stelios has led me to believe he could offer his more law clientele. Rory then goes for the line uttered by Karen's everywhere. Is there a manager I can speak to? Yes, or I am, I'm you are the manager. And it fails. The face of a man who's lost all hope. 
Can't I get on the flight? What kind of company is this? Arrive and get on. Back in Liverpool, Paul and Rosalind are beginning to lose their temper with Lorna. It's actually now 40 minutes, but we would have accepted you. But you come out. 40 minutes, you come we here didn't. After the 30 minutes. I, I arrived here at 20 past. 20 past, my wife was here. 20 past, I was here. here. Well, they didn't pass the figures till 30 minutes before, and you weren't here then. We were. I, I arrived at this desk at 20 past and you was talking to a young lad there. I can't help it if you ignore me for five minutes. We were here Sorry, in time. Can you just go and tell them again that we were actually here in time we if the cut off? You know, anyway, Why? Why? It's just go late. and ask them again. It isn't too it's, late if you go and ask them instead of arguing, arguing with me. Anymore, if you want Why to are you arguing with me? Because you're arguing with me. I'm well, can you just go and ask them and get me on the flight? Why can't you get, you flight, can't you get me on the flight? Because it's not There's my plenty decision of seats. and they won't Well, can I speak you? to the person who makes they the decision? Speak to you, I'm afraid. Well, will you speak to them I've and get them to sort it? No, you haven't. You haven't. We were here on time. Can you let me explain that I can't explain to you? How can you explain that you've just changed your mind and said that because you were. No. Well, I'm not dealing you with you anymore, then. You said to me... Okay. No, can you go and get someone and talk to me, please? I'll get the supervisor to come through. So can you get them now so that we can get on this aircraft? No, we were here on time. Aircraft, we were here on time. Hold the aircraft. We were here on time. We were here 35 minutes. Over at Luton, some love-struck passengers are having some problems of their own. It's Valentine's Day and the flight to Amsterdam has been grounded. We're just about to start boarding the Amsterdam flight and at the last minute we've just been told that the aircraft had a technical problem uh, with the outer meter, which is quite a big problem. Uh, it means the aircraft's got to go into the hangar, so we're looking at quite a large delay on it. It's down to St Leo to break some hearts by delivering the news to the passengers. Couldn't over say if the chances of actually getting out there. At the moment, they haven't said that the flight's likely to be cancelled. Uh, it's quite... A common thing, an aircraft does need on scheduled maintenance. Right, and would we get on another flight today then? Because I've got a dinner and everything. Uh, those ways, at this stage, right? we can guarantee you it. Couldn't. Okay. They'd either reschedule it to a different time today right. or cancel it. Grace Huckle is supposed to be joining her new boyfriend Matt in Amsterdam for a night of romance. This Valentine's Day is so special to me. Um, I've been single for six years now. It's the first time in six years. It's a bit embarrassing. But um, that I've had a boyfriend. I've mean, only been going out with him for just over a month. And for him to do all of this for me has just completely blown my mind. Completely. I felt really sorry for that lady. She's got a deadline that she must meet. She's a bit worried if it, if it goes on that she's not going to meet the deadlines. Refer to my itinerary. We've got... Um, We've got a houseboat in front of the Opera House and uh, I'm going picking up the keys at four o'clock, meeting him at five, dinner at nine, uh, drinks at the supper club, eleven and we're flying back tomorrow so it's quite a short trip and so that's why I'm kind of panicking about getting out there. Back in Belfast, Rory is reminiscing about the golden years of EasyJet. It strikes me that ever since Stelios took a let go, release the management reins of, of this company, it just hasn't provided the service it once provided. It's easy, Jet, and you arrived a day too late, you divvy. What do you expect them to do? And I remember in the early days when we first started, he was hungry for success. I got a flight out of Athens that was two hours delayed, and we all got new flights. We got a lovely dinner. Now every single flight is delayed. Every single time, the one time somebody in my office has made a mistake, booked me the wrong flight, you're charging me a penalty of 100 £27 I do, I do understand your situation, to. sir, but unfortunately there is no physical way that I can open up the flight once it has closed. The whole service disgusts me, absolutely disgusts me, and now here I am having to pay for it. Rory finally admits defeat, but not without having the last word. Or I will be writing to the easy group. That's fine. Or the easy jet, whoever now is currently managing status, I'll do my best to find it out. Because and I have every documented receipt I've ever spent on easy during the last 12 months. And it's it's a lot of money. I understand, sir. We do appreciate your custom. Your custom is valuable to us, but So we're out in Belfast starting this little business. Everything has gone into Indigo Mortgage Brokers. I've sold two motorbikes, I've sold a couple of cars, I've sold all the toys I once had. I was gonna get the word smallest violin out for this part, but apparently some Swiss viola fanatic has it on lease. Anyway, my heart goes out to you, Rory. Everything has gone into this company, and money is very, very tight. We're making it work, but this is the last thing I need right now. The last thing I need. And, um, as I say, it's, it's, it's a bugger. Okay, you can go ahead and get checked in. No, all right, okay. okay. Has that gone through already? Yes, that's it all confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, uh, which is...
hopefully he will grace us with his custom again. I hope it doesn't put him off. But I, again, do understand this point where he is frustrated. As Rory gracefully departs the check-in desk, temperatures are rising even further in Liverpool. Until I speak to someone, I am not moving from here. Can you tell me why you just said to me that if we were here 30 minutes before the aircraft went, you would get us on the aircraft? We were here 35 minutes before the aircraft went and we're not on this plane. What are you going to explain? You're not explaining anything. All you're saying is you can't get on. Realising that he's missed his flight, Mr James turns his attentions elsewhere. Can you find out what time the hire car company closes? It is a hire car that we booked through EasyJet. Last time I booked it through EasyJet, they booked me, on the, they booked me a car hire, they got me on the plane, I got to Paris and the car hire was closed. That is incompetence on the part of EasyJet. All you need to do is get on the phone. Can you please find out what time the car hire place closes in Paris? If you let me explain then to you, no, I can't because we're handling agents for EasyJet here. We don't have anything to do with EasyJet car hire. By all means, I will let you use the telephone and you can try and find out and I'll be able to transfer you onto the next flight if it doesn't close on time. Thankfully for Lorna, Paul and Rosalind have had enough and decide to throw in the towel. Given they've got enough money to buy a second home in Paris, maybe next time they should consider not flying a budget airline if they care that much about customer service. Or they could just show up on time like literally everybody else. At the end of the day, I just think that that was a little bit too far. I mean, it was just disgusting. You, I couldn't even explain anything to him. He was banging his hands on the desk, which was just out of order. I mean, you know, I was, I was trying my best for him, but at the end of the day, if passengers are carrying on like that. There's not much you can do, really. Just stand there looking stupid and pretending to phone up and walking around and pretending not to argue with you. They just waste enough time, whereas they say, well, I'm sorry now, there's nothing we can do. The flight's actually gone. Back in Luton, Grace Huckle doesn't seem to be getting any closer to boyfriend Matt. Lovely, cheers. Bye. St. Leo is about to deliver the latest news. Well, I've just been told Scott announced it now to the passengers. <laughs> Lady, ladies and gentlemen, travelling to Amsterdam on flight TZY211. The original aircraft has been taken out of service. Uh, we do have another aircraft coming in that's due in from Malaga at 13.50, which means we do have a new airborne estimated time from here, 14.30, meaning your new estimated time of arrival in Amsterdam is approximately 16.35 Amsterdam time. On behalf of EasyJet, we do sincerely apologise for this delay and all inconvenience it has caused. I didn't get many screams. Went quite calmly, considering we're being told two different times, really. So it went quite well, especially considering it's Valentine's, but it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> I'm absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. I feel like these are crocodile tears, but they're not, because I well, know, obviously, there's nothing that's going to happen, but. <laughs> Is it true? 1440? Yeah. So I'm gonna 1640. Make it. No, I'm supposed to get the keys at 1600 hours. I'm absolutely gutted. <laughs> the estimate that was there was just purely the aircraft being yeah. serviceable. But I haven't got any way of contacting my boyfriend either. You yeah, haven't got a number? Well, I've got his number, but I can't dial out on my phone now, so. You can go it's... back and use our phone. Yeah, I'd really, really yeah. appreciate it. Give me two minutes. <laughs> Thank you. St. Leo steps up again and does all that he can to help, but for now, Grace's dream Valentine's Day has been put on hold. Leo, however, has his eyes on someone closer to home. Do you remember Mel from the Christmas episode? Well, our patron saint is back on the grind. Given she's an easy jet stewardess, it's a short journey to the crew room to deliver his Valentine's Day gift. That's it now, the end of my shift on Valentine's Day. Just one last thing that I need to do. Got to go and put this in a drop file in the crew room. And that's me done for the day. Just gonna leave a little note. I won't put who it's from. You can put who it's to though, can't you? Yes. Wow, kind and smart. Mel, you're a lucky girl. <laughs> from random bloke. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought some flowers or something. I don't know. Who knows what it's done now anyway? She's not due to land for about another six hours. And by the time she's got that, I'll probably be in bed fast asleep life. After calming down, the Jameses made it to France on a later flight, where they made an offer on their dream home. And despite the delays, Grace Huckle had the most romantic night of her life in Amsterdam. 
But for our orange-hearted man of mystery, the Valentine's gift didn't work out. Although, St. Leo and Mel have got in touch again recently, so who knows what the future holds. It's like EasyJet's Ross and Rachel. Anyway, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. So make sure you're subscribed because part 15 will be out very soon. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. And as always, the links to my Instagram and Twitter will be down below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye for now.